This is the first in a series of videos to walk you along the Protscript featured in this issue of JASA, containing this article titled Manipulation of Voice Onset Time and Speech Stimuli, a Tutorial and Flexible Protscript. The article itself contains a lot of illustrations of different speech sounds, how they change in the, both the timing and frequency domains, a lot of the res research that led to some of the decisions that went into the script, a table or illustration of some of the parameters that you might choose, some implications that you might or might not be well aware of as we change voice onset time, a comparison of some different methods that other people might use to change voice onset time other than the one used in the script, an illustration of some of the timing landmarks and what they look like as you're running the script, some things to do as you encounter some difficulties or want to play with the sounds on your own, and just a broad overview of some of the procedures that go on beneath the surface as the script is running. You also might find it helpful to visit this web page, github.com slash listenlab slash vot, where you can find the script, a little bit of a brief introduction to it in plain language, as well as these two waveforms, which you can download and use as demonstration sounds. The benefit here is that if these two sounds are in your object window in Prot, the script can run in a demonstration mode that automatically selects the landmarks and produces a continuum of sounds rather quickly. So let's see what it looks like. I have the script loaded up in my prot window here. I'm going to click run. And all I'm going to do to begin with is say, don't save any files. All the other parameters, which we'll go over later, I'm just going to keep as the default value. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me to select the voiced onset sound. So in this case, that's deer. Now it wants me to select the voiceless onset sound and it has automatically selected tier. I'm going to press continue and it's going to ask me to select some landmarks. Now, because I'm using this pair of sounds DT tier and DT deer, these landmarks will be automatically selected. So I'm just going to press continue. Now it's going to select the onset of the periodicity. I'm going to select continue again. And finally, the last landmark is the onset of periodicity in the word beginning with the voiced sound D. It's going to do some work behind the scenes and then produce the continuum. So as long as the number of sounds that you make is pretty reasonable and can fit on one screen, it'll present this continuum for you where you can click on this, on any of these sounds, press the tab key, Dear. and listen to any one of them individually. Dear. Or you can just start at the beginning and listen to all the all of them all the way through. Dear, 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 dear. The other thing you can check out here is what it produces in the info window. So the info window is where it'll basically give you all the information about the landmarks it selected, the actual durations of the VOT continuum steps, some information about the F0 contour or the pitch contour, and other information about the intensity and other sort of lower level details that some of you might be interested in. So this could be useful if you're trying to replicate earlier work. So in future videos, what we're going to do is explore ways that you can create continue using your own sounds, think about other factors like pre-voicing and covariance of F0 cues, um, getting finer control over some of these cues, and then some of the details beneath the surface. So assuming that you're just running to run this in demo mode, though, all you need to do, paste the script into your script window, press run, press OK, and just continue pressing this continue button all the way through. And within just a few moments, you have a continuum of voice onset time.